Right now, the biggest one is approximately two centimeters. Others are even smaller. And there is a new growth here and there. So all that is a new growth. I'll keep monitoring everything at the moment, you know, constantly, you know, looking at my older females and how they are getting on. Hello there guys, it's Mr. Po, thank you for tuning in and this is another vlog and today we will take a tour of all the tanks because there are some changes and some modifications and everything everywhere, some pieces of news, some of them are rather nice, some are not, so we'll take a look then quickly. Okay, let's see what is happening in here, it's a 2.5 gallon uh, grow out tank and uh, the space is already a little bit occupied too much and I'm thinking to move this guppy somewhere, maybe to make a giveaway or something. Uh, well, nothing special in this setup. This is a very simple primitive setup, uh, I'd say. You know, hornwort on the floating plant. So the substrate below, it's not just substrate, just sand for decorative purposes and not everywhere. As you see, there is bottom, some bare bottom scene. And these are snakeskin guppies. Uh, I have two male snakeskin guppies and uh, some female guppies and this is like a hybrid uh, breed right now uh, we see and uh, they take up some coloration uh, as you see they have these spots on uh, tails and also this uh, you know uh, sort of snake skin ornament or something already reveals itself on the bodies because it's been like what uh, two uh, maybe 2.5 months and uh, they were very tiny but you know this uh, breed this exact breed it grows a little bit faster than uh, let's say Dumbo guppies that I have in another tank uh, I suppose that they grow up a little bit faster I guess so well uh, so right now they stay here they are very active because I've just fed them. That's why the filter is not running. So, well, that's what is happening right now. And uh, uh, the room for the guppies is already a little bit occupied too much because it's just a 2.5 grow out. And I'm thinking to uh, make maybe make a giveaway or move this guppy somewhere else because, you know, I initially wanted to uh, wanted to leave only just maybe two of them uh, we'll see others will move anyway eventually and uh, here uh, here is some you know peace lily plant uh, which i guess has grown up a little bit more so well and in here the latest uh, very simple setup for my shrimp well we have what seven shrimp in here some very small and some a little bit bigger so they stay separately uh, i guess that it's better because they feel more comfortable, uh, in my opinion. And also, you know, you can observe them I I with, uh, you know, just ease. Because they usually, you know, dwell here and there, float and search for some food, you know. And I also feed them some Daphnia sometimes and cucumbers. And I also plan to try some other, uh, you know, boiled vegetables. But in smaller amounts, of course. So in here you can see black shrimp or what uh, blue shrimp uh, doing something I, I i honestly i do not know what this breed is uh, but i guess this is just a regular maybe freshwater shrimp or maybe cherry shrimp i don't know uh, right now they are smaller than they are supposed to be but they are growing a little bit so they are a little bit bigger than before uh, well that's it for now and uh, the light here the light is very simple light, LED, and I blocked some of the light with a tape, as you can see here, because there was too much, and it's always a problem because it creates some kind of, you know, uh, algae, especially when it's a new setup. So only just two gallon aquarium, and uh, a little bit of design here and there, nothing special. So well, that's it, and I removed some of this tape because there was a little bit dimmer light than it was supposed to be and I made it a little bit brighter again just a little bit so I will keep monitoring the algae because I, I honestly hate algae I don't like to deal with it even scratch the surface of the glass you know that's just something very very annoying to me 
Well, as for this tank, uh, you probably noticed that uh, there is a lot of hornwort. Uh, actually, there, these are leftovers from other tanks. I cut the hornwort and I decided that I cannot just throw it away and I, I just put it here, you know, and it floats around. And, um, uh, you know, neon tetras, two new and uh, one older. Uh, also, some fry, they have grown up a little bit. And old Dumbo guppies who are right now, what, uh, seven or six months? I've noticed that this uh, type, this variety, they uh, grow a little bit slower and they stay small relatively. Right now, the biggest one is approximately two centimeters, others are even smaller. And uh, Hygrophila grows and right now it looks like um, some sort of sticks. Uh, because initially, you know, there were some leaves, but I cut them because they were damaged by black bird algae, which I uh, successfully, I hope, removed from this aquarium using hydrogen peroxide uh, overdosing while removing everybody from here for like one day. Uh, and, uh, you know, many leaves melted, but the new growth is here. I haven't trimmed anything yet because I wonder if it is necessary or not. I could actually cut these stems like that and put them in the sand so they do not just go outside, uh, you know, this water line. But right now they are looking like some palm trees or something. I haven't done it yet, but I'm thinking of it. We'll see what happens. We'll see if this is necessary because sometimes, you know, new growth starts here and as you can see, there is some new growth already. So we'll see. Next is uh, some, you know, Ludwigia suffers a little bit because this substrate is not nutritious and it doesn't accumulate a lot of nutrition, to be honest. So uh, that's why, you know, uh, Ludwigia suffers a little bit in this aquarium, but we'll see, we'll keep monitoring. As for the hornwort, it always grows. Well, some plants as well, uh, you know, peace lily with one flower already like ending its life cycle another one and there is another one coming i guess inside so bromelia and some other plants you know i like keeping plants i really enjoy this you know it's a little bit more difficult because you always worry about overwatering them so i try to water them a little bit less than more and i also try to use some fertilizers liquid fertilizers you know for that purpose and also my relatives help me because they also enjoy plants and everything you know and i think that house plants they really match the fish tanks too so it's kind of like um, very nice to have them beside you know aquarium so uh, well that's that's it all of this you know are relatively a little bit easier to keep so you know low maintenance let's say plants these are so not so you know demanding okay as for this aquarium i moved all the snake skin uh guppy females to this tank so it's now a little bit overstocked and for which i am a little bit worried there is some accumulation of dust algae here and there and also hair algae as well uh as you remember the last time there was some disaster and because of this disaster i unfortunately lost two neon tetras who were younger and only old ones were left uh, because of this bacterial infection after the treatment or planaria and uh, you know i fortunately i couldn't save them no matter what i did you know they were a little bit uh, injured too much and you know that, that fortunately i have only two neon tetras in here right now and i'll keep monitoring everything at the moment you know constantly you know looking at my older females and how they are getting on so everything seems to be more or less okay right now and the population of snails has reduced a little bit and also the fry have uh, gone missing like maybe because of this treatment as well because i didn't move them there were too many of them and i couldn't actually catch them uh, catch them all effectively so, but there are some still, you know, maybe like three or maybe more a little bit, maybe five, I don't know. So, uh, the tank doesn't look that well, you know, because of this algae stuff, but I'll keep monitoring that. It's typical, especially if you have a misbalance in aquarium for some time. There will be algae, of course, and I'll keep fighting that, you know, we'll see what happens next. But as soon as these females grow a little bit more, I plan to move them somewhere else because there will be too much room in here. I actually plan this tank to for my 
uh, younger guppies, for my, you know, this, uh, you know, female guppies, maybe male guppies, snakeskin guppies, I mean, from 2.5 gallon. And others, maybe I'll, you know, present them to someone as a gift, or maybe I'll move them to a bigger aquarium. I haven't decided yet, but I have some plans like that, uh, you know, but we'll see how everything goes. As for this aquarium, as you remember the last time Ludwigia got a little bit big, bigger than it, it, it is supposed to be, so I cut, I cut the stems and as you can see I planted them back. And there is a new growth here and there, so all that is a new growth. And uh, this substrate which we see here, it is a little bit better, it accumulates, uh, you know, the natural kind of nutrition from the fish poop and, you know, some food leftovers probably. And, uh, you know, this kind of malm, you know, serves as a fertilizer for the plants. But you need to keep monitoring all that because actually it may result in ammonia spike. So you have to change water regularly and everything. And so I siphon only this part of the gravel, which is more like decorative one. And I try not to siphon that side to keep some nutrition for the plants. And Hygrophila corymbosa da does better, you know, it doesn't show a lot of signs of deficiency of iron, you know, or other chemicals right now, so I'm happy for that. As for the hornwort, I cut it and it already has grown to the surface, so I don't know, maybe I'll just leave it, leave, you know, it growing as it was, uh, as it was before. So, well, that's it. And I also put the stone back uh, straight on the decorative substrate. So it's right now on it, not on the sponge. The last time the sponge caused some problems with snails. So I just left it like that on the surface of the decorative substrate. So that's it. Right now we have how many bunches? One, two, three bunches of hornwort. So I like this plant because it grows a lot and it also filters the water, but the problem is that maybe it grows a little bit faster than it's supposed to be. But anyway, this aquarium looks a little bit like a very primitive Dutch style, you know, especially if you remove this, you know, these two stones, it looks like a Dutch aquarium. Uh, actually, I plan something like a Dutch style aquarium later, if I find some carpeting plants and also some maybe a little bit smaller plants like um, like Lobelia, which I had before. I like this plant, it looks really nice and it stays small relatively. If you cut it, if you keep it, you know, in the front, it's a good solution, to be honest, for these small plants, you know. And maybe in the back I'll put some Velisneria, who knows. There is some accumulation of, you know, hair algae on the filter, so I need to clean it next time. But as for the whole thing, not so much hair algae, maybe probably because of uh, plenty of plants here. And there is, I think, most of the plants uh, are here. I mean, like, if you compare this, there, there is also a lot of plants, but, you know, it looks like, not like that, maybe because these are just most of the time floating plants, rootless plants. And then here we have some rooted plants as well. So maybe, maybe it visually seems like there is more plants than here, but I don't know exactly. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you know, uh, this tank, it suffers a little bit more right now than this one. And I'll keep monitoring that tank a little bit more. I have to make more changes of water here, I guess. Well, guys, thank you very much for watching to the end. I really appreciate that. Don't forget to check out my other videos on YouTube and Instagram and, you know, everything. I also have a TikTok profile on which I also post some of this aquarium stuff videos and everything. So thank you very much once again. Stay safe and see you in the next episode. Good luck to you and have a nice week.